Hello, I am Gregory the Poor Typist, and I am up to no good, as you can probably see. <laughs> I'm going to try mixing fountain pen inks. And it's my understanding that this doesn't always go so well. So, <laughs> this is going to be a real test here. So, uh, because uh, things can go very badly, uh, at least that's my understanding, I've selected this this uh, free pen I received from uh, Fountain Pen Revolution. Uh, they just threw this in with my order, which I appreciated. It's uh, an eyedropper filled. Or in this case, syringe filled. <laughs> so, now the question is, I don't know how much ink this holds. Um, so this really could become disastrous. <laughs> but, all right. So we will set those aside. So we have our, our pen body here. We have a couple of syringes and I've selected a couple of inks. Uh, so this is, on the left here is Diamine Blue Black. Just quite nice, it's, it's acceptable. Uh, basically black with a hint of blue, as you might suspect. And then we have uh, Robert Oster Whisper Red. Which is quite nice, but by combining the two, I'm hoping that I can end up with a dark purplish color. Um, I'm mostly going to use the Whisper Red, and and then uh, some of the blue black. Now I'm I'm again I don't know <laughs> I, do, I should probably test to see how much this holds but I'm I'm not going to be that scientific. Um yeah. So I think I'm going to do 1 uh 1 milliliter of the blue black and I want to do three of the whisper red uh, I'm just not sure if the pin is gonna hold that much um, I think that would be pushing it so I may have to just go with two yeah but we shall see how this goes. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'll start with, or maybe I should start with the, uh, well, I guess either way, I'm gonna have to have these inked up already because once I'm holding this, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll have to hold it. <laughs> so, Again, I've never done this before, so I feel like a, a mad scientist. Um, I yeah, I guess, again, I guess it doesn't matter. And if I end up putting three in there, and see that it is too much, you know, I I don't have to put it all in the the body of the pen. But all right, so that one's open. Let's go ahead and open this one. And I do have a tissue handy uh, in the event of spills or if it dries me to tears. <laughs> so, all right, let's go ahead and ink up this blue one first. So, and then we're going to push that down. It's kind of hard to tell where the... Let's 
there's air in there. All right, we'll call that one. We will call that one. Okay. While I ink up the other one, I'm going to set this over here. Yeah, it's my understanding that um, some inks do not react well. <laughs> so, yeah, in, in combination. So this one I said three. That one is, yeah, has a little bit. We'll put it right about there. I'm thinking I should put the red first because I I, I don't want the blue black um, ending up being the dominant color. Let's go ahead and cap this. Okay, so first we are going to do, this is the Robert Oster Whisper Red. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, so that's... I think that's only about one. It's only about one there. Um, if I do two, it's going to be full, essentially. <laughs> so I think for the purpose of this experiment, I'll just do the one of that. And then I <laughs> gotta get my grip here. Get a grip. And then um I'm gonna and this is this is pretty pretty inexact. Um but I am going to try just doing like a half of this one. I think that's about a half. Okay. Now, and I'm using this pen just as they sent it to me. I'm, <laughs> I'm not putting any, um, any sort of uh, silicone grease or anything like that, um, or any O-rings. Um, I think that's on the inside. Yeah, that's on the inside. All right, now I'm not. I'm not actually going to shape. Let's go ahead and put the cap on just in case. But we do want to actually get those inks mixed. So I'm very curious what color this is going to end up being. Again, I'm I'm hoping for a purple, a very dark purple. Um, I'm kind of suspecting it's going to end up being almost maroon. So we did one milliliter of the Whisper Red and approximately one half milliliter of the blue-black, which is not quite the ratio I was going for, but yeah. Ooh, I'm seeing some purple in there. I am seeing some purple in there. You see it too. See that? Uh-huh. Well. Okay.
this may have worked well. So, and unfortunately, because this is a, an eyedropper fill, you have to wait for the, the feed to prime. Um, yes, but this bodes very, very well. Yeah, you can catch that purple just a little bit. Wow, I think this might be perfect. I think this might be perfect. That is awesome. All right, so let's wait for this to, to prime and um, we'll do a little writing test. Um, I don't expect, you know, much from the, from the pen itself, but we're doing it more um, as a test of the ink. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, this pen really needed silicone grease. As you can see, the cap is full of, of ink now. So essentially, this is going to be a dip pen. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm almost afraid to open this now, but we're going to do a, just a quick test ink test. I'm not even going to call it a writing sample. It's a quick ink test. Very interesting. Going on, it looks quite black. But in the smear test, you can definitely see it's purple, but the blue-black is definitely the dominant color, even though I only used um, one part of that to the uh, two parts of the Whisper Red. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see how this, how this dries. Turning out, much, uh, there you get a little bit of the, the purplish color there. It's not a winner, perhaps, but it's, you know, it's not quite what I was going for. But it's, it's definitely something different. So anyway, there you go. Um, that was uh, two parts, Robert Oster, Whisper Red, and one part diamine blue black and that's what we ended up with and this pen i'm going to remove the ink from it and discard the pen <laughs> yes but for now it's a dip pen <laughs> with its own built-in inkwell <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time